So I received a great question in the last lesson and it's in regards to having multiple files for your route definitions. And in particular, the question was, if I have multiple files that I want to apply to a single group, do I need to define that group in each file that uses that group? So for example, here we have a post file with our post routes in it. They're a little bit cut off, but roll with me here for a second. So we have our posts and it's within a group for API and version two. Now we also have the same thing for a series, which I just duplicated from our post routes and changed everything to series. Again, this is cut off, but roll with me here. And this too has a route group for API version two. The question, do we need to define these route groups for each one of these files? And then say maybe we have a topics file, do we need to define it there too? The answer is no. So long as the route definition is executed within the group, then that route definition will be applied to the group. So let's put that into practice. Let's go ahead and cut that right side out and let's get rid of the groups for both our posts and series. Okay, there it's gone from our posts. Now let's get rid of it for our series. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and put it in our main routes.ts file. We'll go ahead and get rid of our import here. Paste that in. So we have a couple of different options to actually apply both our post and series within these groups. Since all that we need is for this code to be executed within this group, we can wrap this up inside of a function. So we'll export default function post routes and then define the group within this function. And then we'll give that a save. And then within our routes file, all that we need to do is import that function. So we can do post routes from routes API version two posts. And then all that we need to do is execute that code within our group by calling the function. So we can give that a save, head into our terminal, and let's run node ace list routes. And we can see that we have API version two for our post routes. So that seems to be working a okay. Let's go over the second option that we have with our series routes. So we can leave this route definition as is, and instead of importing a function and then executing that function within the group, let's just import it directly into the group using require. So let's do await require routes API version two and series. And then since we're using await here, we also need to make this callback function async as well. Give that a save. And now let's run our list routes again. And we should see that we have our API version two for our post routes. If I scroll up a little bit here, we can see them all. And we also have it for our series now as well. So both of these methods are working a okay. Now let's say maybe you don't want your API route group to be within your routes.ts file. Maybe you want it within your version two folder, or maybe you want it within your API folder. So let's go ahead and create an index file within our API directory. And let's cut this out of here. I'm just going to copy everything from up here and then back out our import and then the groups. And let's paste it inside of our index.ts. And then of course our import path changed a little bit. So now it just needs to be version two posts for both that and our require. Give that a save. And now all that we need to do is import our routes API index file within our routes.ts. So we can either do that at the top level using import. So routes. API, give that a save, and we should see the exact same thing that we see here if we run it again. And in fact, we do. Or if this doesn't give us the route precedence that we want, note that these routes are all above all of these routes. So remember, whenever Adonis receives a request, the first route definition to match that request is going to be used, and it will not allow anything below it from contending with that route request. So if you need these routes to be defined after a particular route, top level imports not going to be your option. So here is another case where you can, and let's just do this down at the bottom so that it's nice and clear that we are defining these after all of the others. It would be nice if we could do a top level await, but that's not quite here yet. So instead we can use an iffy. So we'll do async callback function with await require, and this would be routes API and then immediately invoke your function. So give that a save. And this little red squiggly up here is uh, just a TypeScript hint. What it's saying is, hey, you're trying to call a function on this and this doesn't have a function. So the way that you can fix that is just tack a semicolon onto the end of that, tell it that you know that's the end of that code execution block. 
and give this a save. And if we rerun this, now we should see the exact same thing. However, our post and series routes will be down at the bottom of the list. And that is in fact what we see. So right here we have our API version two routes with post and series down at the bottom.